Welcome everyone. My name is Lynn Schusler Williams. I'm a speaker, coach, and author out of Louisville, Kentucky. I am so excited to be on this Success Partners International Wednesday training Zoom. We are so excited to have a great event for us tonight. And we start all our calls in Success Partners with our signature message. It's an awesome uh, message that you can memorize and internalize. I used part of it today in a networking event and it was just really well received and I could see people's ears perk up. And here's what each and every one of us can say. I am part of a growing team of entrepreneurs with a shared mission to protect and empower 2 million families and small businesses with Legal Shield's network of law firms and world-class identity theft services. What we do matters and we are looking for help. And with that, I'll ask everybody to mute your video because I'm about to turn the call over to our presenter who is the leader of Success Partners International. He's a $150,000 ring earner, a millionaire club member, three times over. He is absolutely the person we all call friend and mentor. Mr. John Drennan, the call is yours. Well, thanks so much, Lynn, and that, was how you do a check-in on a Zoom. What a pro you are, that was fabulous. So kudos, congratulations. I do encourage everyone to turn off your video at this time and I wanna start by saying just kudos, number one to everyone who's on. And number two, if you're new to Legal Shield, congratulations on a great decision. You know, I, I got started about 21, almost 22 years ago. And while things were very different then, many things were not different at all. And, and I'm gonna talk about that, but you've made a great decision. You know, we, when, when I got started, people talked about, gee, we're gonna eventually be in all of the US, we are. They said, we're someday going into Canada, we are. They said, someday we'll probably go to Europe, we are. Someday we'll add products, we have, and so, just kudos on being part of this journey. And, and this is a journey, and it's a journey with a well-worn path. And so I wanna start a little bit talking about that path. And I wanna tell you how I got started and how that led to a six-figure income. Here's what I did. I used Legal Shield. I couldn't wait to use it. I used it. Then I was in a position to talk about it. I remember telling people about how I called my lawyer and talked and I'm not getting a bill. And people wanted to know, how is that possible? And then uh, I, I got paid for sharing that because people bought Legal Shield. I got paid and now I was able to say to some of those people, hey, look at the money that's being made here. You know, do you have interest in another income stream? Would you like to see what we're doing? And some said yes and some said no. Here's a clue, just pay attention to the ones that say yes. So I spent time with the ones that said yes and got the business going that way. And then I taught those people do the same things. And I learned all this from my mentors. So the well-worn path has not changed. So if you're brand new, and I wanna start this training tonight with the brand new people, what do you do? Number one, you use the membership. Now, when you hear me speak and train, I say I couldn't wait to be a customer, and that's true. I could not wait to use Legal Shield, and in using it, I got the experience to then be able to genuinely go promote it, talk about it, advocate for it, and so that's what you do. Number one, use the membership and have a story, even if it's as simple as saying, hey, I had a simple question. I called. I talked to an attorney for five minutes but I got my answer and here's the best part, I'm not being billed. You know, what do you like better, $300 an hour or $300 a year? And it's, it becomes a no brainer. So that's number one. Number two, begin inviting people to learn about Legal Shield. Begin inviting, did you hear that word? Inviting people to learn about Legal Shield. So what do you invite them to? Well, we've got live events, we've got, Zooms, we've got videos. Um, if you're new, you probably have your prospect by Legal Shield loaded. 
and so you can send people videos, but you're gonna work with your sponsor, and that's the next thing is, uh, and, and hear what I say here, allow your sponsor to work with you. Allow your team to work with you. Translation, be coachable. Let your sponsor and team help in terms of what's going to be shared with and how it's going to be shared with your prospects. Now it's simple for you, you're simply inviting. And then once people take a look at something, whether it's a video or a Zoom or a live presentation or uh, something you pull together at your house or your business, once they look at something, then you follow up. But, but once again, allow your team to help you in that process. That's all I did to get started on a multi-million dollar uh, business here. So with that, um, I, I want to finish talking to the new people with two things. Number one, there's $800 of bonus money on the table in the month of September. So if you're in your fast start period, you can earn the $800 of bonus. And those who maybe are, are not brand new, but maybe you've never hit that manager level, you hit manager this month with three associates and 400 of print new premium, and you get a $500 bonus as well. So that's big stuff. In my 21 years, I've never seen a $500 bonus for anyone in the company achieving manager like, like we have right now. The other thing is I wanna show you a resource and you can go to it. Let me pull it up. I'm going to uh, share my screen here. Um, give me a second to do that. Okay, so what you're looking at now is BeginTheAscent.com. This is our, our, our great leader, Timmer Halligan. It's his website, BeginTheAscent.com. Use this resource. Go to the Get, it, get Started. So once you're on BeginTheAscent.com, there's the word Ascent right there, Begin the Ascent. Then go to Get Started. and you're gonna see a lot of resources here. And so just scroll down and start going through the resources, beginning with onboarding. So go down and click on Fast Start Qualify. Okay, but notice all the action steps you have here. So. I'm not gonna go through all of that. Obviously, there's a whole onboarding there, but now you know where to go get the resources, how to get started, and, and just start going through this process. So with that, what I wanna do next is talk about, really talk to everybody. And let me just make sure I'm still, Okay, can someone confirm you're seeing my screen right now? Yes, sir. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I'm gonna do kind of an abbreviated training on something some of you have seen because I've, I've worked with this idea in Michigan, in Texas, in Missouri, um, in, in different places, in Canada. And so I'm, I wanna talk about 10 questions that I have found are valuable questions for your business. So I'm assuming most of you are in a position to write. Now I know some people are driving and maybe not in a position to write. We do record this Zoom, but those who are, go ahead and participate as I go through this, these 10 questions. And the first question is, why are you an associate? Now, you can take a picture of that or you can write that down as question number one. Why am I here? Now you're not gonna be able to answer all these as I go through it, but how can you use this? Write these 10 questions as I go and then answer them later. Why are you here? And why that's important is we all need our reasons and we need compelling reasons to stay the course and have this become something special. So for you, it might have to do with money, it might have to do with helping people in a big way, it might have to do with taking on a new challenge and learning leadership and growing something. It could be some combination of factors. But why are you here? And get clear on that and certainly 
feel like you can add to that as time goes by. Question number two, what is your vision for your business? Now you might say, well, isn't that the same question? Well, not really. The why is what drives you. The vision brings clarity to the why. So your why might be that you just want financial independence. Okay, so to get that, what's your vision for your business? Is it solidify platinum? Is it to have a certain number of groups, a certain amount of customers, a certain number of teams and associates, and a certain amount of premium? But all of that usually ends up toward a certain rank, rank, a certain ring level. And so what is your vision? And how long does it last? Are you here to stay? Are you here for five years? I know people have asked me now for, I'm in my 21st year, people have asked me for years. Well, are you retired or are you planning on retiring? Or how long will you be doing Legal Shield the last man? I always, the answer is the same. Never will I retire, and always I'll be working with Legal Shield. Now, how I'm working with it changes over time and will continue to, but I'm not going anywhere and I'm, I'm not retiring. But that's my vision. What's yours? Some people get started and saying, I'm going to give it all I've got for three years and whatever that is, I'm then moving on to something else. But what's your vision? And the third question is a two part question. First, what is your membership story? Now remember to the brand new people what I said, very first thing you need to do is use your membership and have a story, whatever that story is. And then what's your associate story? Now both of these represent testimonies. and We need to be skilled in sharing a testimony. And so as you're plugged in over time, you will learn the, the exact steps on doing a story but one simple way to do a membership story is just from the heart, tell what happened. You know, hey, I got a traffic ticket, got a whole legal shield, they assigned me an attorney who went to court for me and, and the, the ticket got dropped. Or hey, I got legal shield, I hadn't had my will, I got my will done. And just, you need to be able to share stories with prospects. And then what's your associate story? Hey, I got started to make some extra money. My first six months I averaged about $800 a month, so now I'm looking to double that. So some simple story communication. So that's the third question. Fourth question out of 10 is, do you have a written list? Now that's a yes or no question. Some people wanna compliment or complicate that answer with lots of words. It's yes or no. You have a list and it's written, the answer is yes. You don't have a list or you have one and it's not written, the answer is no. And so this is key. By the way, every one of these questions is key to your success. So you have a written list. If your answer is no, you're off track. If your answer is yes, you're on track. Then you simply add to it. So that's the fourth question. Fifth question, do you have a calendar or planner? Some way to keep track of your, your time. You know, I'm, I'm going to grab, I've got different things here. I got a desk calendar, but I'm looking at my planner and had a great meeting today with um, Susan Comer and, and a, a, as third party with an amazing prospect she's got. Um, got a couple meetings tomorrow, got a couple meetings on Friday, got a couple meetings on Saturday. Well, how do I know that? Well, because it's all right here. It's all written down. And some of you do this electronically, I get it. But the question is, do you have some kind of calendar or planner? And that assumes in that planner or calendar, you've got different things written in. Not just appointments, but events. You have written in the upcoming events in your market, the Super Saturdays. I know in Louisville, you know, we've got a Super Saturday coming up a week from Saturday with one of the top income earners in Legal Shield, Kevin Mack. And then the very next day, we've got the best of the best with the Espanol program coming in, with the Rios coming into Louisville. Now that's just Louisville, but wherever you are, you got to have these events written down. So question six, do you know how to do an effective three-way call? Now I know there's people listening right now who have been with us for years and their answer is no. And that's okay. I mean, it's too bad if it's been years and your answer is no, but it's okay because you can change that tomorrow. 
The way to become effective with three-way calls, there's two ways. Number one, you get two other associates come together and practice it. Then number two, just start doing them immediately. So three-way calls. So what's your answer to that? Do you know how to do an effective three-way call? That's a yes or no answer. Question seven, can you do an effective seven to eight minute membership presentation? Now, key word there is effective, and it's key to keep it brief. And so your answer is yes or no. Now, when I started, I would use a brochure if I sat down with someone, and I would highlight the main things that our service offers. And I've always highlighted the main things, advice, document review, letters or phone calls, and traffic tickets. Um, I'm sorry, and wills. There's five things, wills, and then traffic tickets I would throw in there as a bonus. I've always highlighted those five things because everyone can relate to those. Today, I simply will pull out my smartphone and pull up the app and show people how the app allows me to hit a button, call my law firm, and the different things I can do. So it doesn't take a lot of time to do effective membership presentation. The key in a membership presentation is ask questions and then share stories, and especially to share stories related to the questions you've asked. So for example, you ask someone, do you have a current will? If they say no, or you know, we've got one, but it's outdated, then the story is, yeah, I understand. When I started, mine wasn't current, or I didn't have a will, and I got legal shield, and that's the first thing I did, or whatever your story is, or you can share someone else's story. So that's the seventh question. Eighth question, this one's going to take a little bit more time because it's got some different parts to it. The question is, what is your score for the past 90 days? So here we are in September. So basically over the summer, June, July, August, what's your score? How would you grade yourself on a scale of zero to 10 for the three legs of success in our business? So let me go through these briefly. Number one says showing up. That's the first leg of success in our business. Am I showing up? Yes or no? And grade that. Now, what, what is showing up? Well, here's a way to think about it. You've got team things. So are you on the weekly calls? And obviously tonight you're on this Zoom. So yes, you showed up tonight. Are you at things in your market, whether it's briefings, luncheons, LOJ events, fast start trainings, uh, Super Saturday events? Then number three, um, are you at the bigger events? And that would include our team event, the summer blast that we had back in uh, late June, or, or, and I should say, the big corporate events like we have coming up in about a month in Salt Lake City. So. If you were at the Summer Blast, if you are registered for Salt Lake City, if you're consistently on team calls and trainings and consistently at events in your market, you got to give yourself a 9 or a 10 there. Now, that's on the quantity. Notice it says quantity and quality. Also grade yourself on the quality. If you show up, but you show up late and you're distracted and you're disruptive and you're falling asleep and you're not taking notes and you're not gaining and you've got a bad attitude and your quality is a one or a two, well, that's going to offset your nine or 10. You need to really be seven, eight and above in both of these quantity and quality. So that's showing up. Secondly is activity. So what's that mean? The activity of our business is making a list and constantly adding to it then inviting people from that list to take a look at Legal Shield and inviting them to something done correctly. You invite them to a briefing or a PBR or a video or a Zoom call. You don't you know, walk in to a store and try and do a presentation at the counter uh, to the manager who's busy at the store. So, um, what's your quantity of activity? Again, it's adding your list, it's inviting, and then following up, following up with any prospect you've invited, that's part of your activity, and then onboarding anyone new, whether it's a new member or new associate. Those are the primary activities. 
Now there are some others, but those are the primary. So think about your quantity of that over the summer, give yourself a grade, and then the quality of that. Again, activity done poorly pulls down your score. Activity done poorly, as an example would be, you go to a networking event and you chase people, you stalk people, you come too hard at people. That's not good activity. Calling the same five people every day for a month, not good activity. So over time, you learn to do quality activity. And then finally, PD, that stands for personal development. And that simply is a practice of growing ourselves through what we read, what we listen to, what, who we spend time with. Do we have a, a mentor? So go ahead and grade yourself on that. And again, quality matters. If you're reading a personal development book while well, you've got a you know, drama movie on, probably you're not getting so much out of that book. So that question had a lot of aspects to it, but the question that comes down to what is your score when you go ahead and score yourself? And for people that maybe are new to this, think about how valuable this concept is as you're working with a new person. You know, I, I tend to, uh, if I'm working with an associate, and especially if they're frustrated, they're not getting what they want, I can just go through this and score and find out what's lacking. When you correct what's lacking, the results change. Okay, two more questions. Here we go. Well, doesn't this tie to what I just talked about? What personal development book are you currently reading? So I just looked over here. I've got books everywhere, but let me grab. Um, many of you have the new Brian Crothers book on trap. And I don't know if I can't see myself here on the screen. So I don't know if you can see my book here on trap. And then I also like reading biographies of people who have been very accomplished. I'm reading the biography of Lindbergh. And I gotta tell you, there are some amazing people that uh, helped that whole deal happen where he flew across the Atlantic and a lot of personal development in that kind of thing. But what book are you reading? And then when you finish that book, what book are you reading next? And what's, what's that doing for you? Here's a good recipe, 10 pages a day. Okay, then the last question, who's your workout partner? and who's one of your mentors? So that's a two-part question. So who's your workout partner? Now that implies you've got a workout partner. So the question might be, do you have a workout partner? And if not, then go get one. So if you're brand new, don't worry about this yet. If you're brand new, you need to fast start qualify and achieve manager and go to fast start training. And as you get to know people in the business, Eventually, you'll have options for a workout partner, but I generally say for a workout partner, make sure it's not someone in your upline or downline. Make sure it's someone outside of your vertical pay level. And if, if you wonder how do I find a workout partner, become a workout partner. That simply means offer to people that you think would be a good match. Hey, do you have a workout partner? Hey, is that something you'd like to talk about? And it's good to find somebody who's committed to really being there every day to work toward the next step in both of your businesses. And you might not be at the same level, and that doesn't matter as long as you're both committed to really supporting and helping and holding each other accountable. And then the second part of this question is who's one of your mentors? And I say one of because I know over the years I've had many mentors and still do in Legal Shield. And I hope you do too. So you might have one now and a different one six months from now. But a mentor is someone who's traveled the path you want to travel and who's really got some value to share with you. So those are 10 questions. I go into much greater detail at a super Saturday. Um, but I think on this training tonight, you know, that was a chance for you to all get a taste of that. And so in wrapping up here tonight, I know I shared on the Sunday night call that we're at a really special time in Legal Shield, and I'm giving you this viewpoint from 21 years. So I'm in a tower 21 
stories above ground, able to look at, at a lot of scenery uh, after 21 years. And so I've had the chance of seeing Legal Shield go through so many stages as they went from being public to private, as they added identity theft, as they built a new um, home office campus, as they um, in, added Performance Club in the trips and were acquired by Mid Ocean Partners and then acquired again for double the price six years later by Stone Point Capital. And as we've gone into all of Canada and now the UK and added the Ladies of Justice and the uh, pr program for Latino Spanish speaking Americans. And so having seen all that, I've seen trends and I've seen times that are really ripe to lock in and take advantage. And we're at one of those times. Uh, there's a lot of amazing things happening right now in Legal Shield and the company's paying out record or near record commissions. And um, that's as we go into two markets, you know, Canada we've been in, but now we're going into the rest of Canada and UK we've just started. So times are very good here for those who have their boat in the water. And you all know the saying, when the water rises, all ships rise, but that's only true if your ship's in the water. In other words, you gotta be participating. You cannot be in the stands watching this game to, to benefit from it. You have to be on the field playing this game. So uh, a, a real critical piece to this is being in Salt Lake City. I gotta tell you, I got started network marketing before Legal Shield, and I'll never forget when a gentleman I didn't even know, but I knew he had what I wanted. He said, you got to be in um, Arizona. At that time, there was a big event in Phoenix. I'd never been to a big event. I didn't know this game. I didn't know what to do. But I knew this. Somebody I respected said, be in Phoenix. That day, I bought a, a plane ticket. I went to Phoenix. I sat in the top rows and just observe. And I'll never forget that because I realized at that event, this is an industry that can give me what I want, which is to build substantial income from home, living anywhere, working with people I wanna work with, 1099, not having a boss, all the things that people really talk about and dream about. And so my advice to everyone, be in Salt Lake City. If you've been to conventions before and feel like, you, you know, I've gone before and it didn't transform me or my business. That just means that wasn't the one. It helped you, but if it didn't transform you, that wasn't the one. So be in Salt Lake City. So, hey, with that, another reminder, tomorrow morning, we have our morning stretch call hosted by the amazing Lynette McKinley out of East Texas. So if you're able to join us tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Eastern, you can get all of our team information if you go to our team calendar at successpartnerscalendar.com. So with that, uh, Lynn Schusler-Williams, thanks again for hosting. This is John Drennan here in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm signing off tonight. Take care. Have a great one. Bye-bye.